All right, guys, what's up? So, it's Sunday. We are less than a week out from BC Championships. Um, what's going on? It's so backlit and bright. What the heck? Oh, well, whatever. Anyways, I'm um, just going to weigh in. We're gonna do a final skin fold. I'll probably actually check it like the day of the show or whatever, just to kind of see what um, my abdominal skin fold is the day of a show. But um, yeah, we're a week out here. Um, we've pretty consistently lost half a millimeter of fat from our uh, our navel check there, our, our one inch over from the navel. I think it started around eight millimeters, and it just it's pretty consistently dropped half a millimeter every week um, since I started. So that's been really good. Um, it just goes to show when you um, keep track and you hold yourself accountable and you, you do those checks every week. Um, you don't necessarily need a coach or you don't need the accountability of um, checking in with somebody else. You just got to be honest with yourself. Um, keep a really um, accurate record of what you've been doing and where you're at. And um, yeah, go from there. So I didn't use a coach for this prep. I used a coach for my last prep. It was more of... Um, a strategic political thing. I kind of wanted to see what um, coaches were offering and what, what people were getting when they were paying these coaches. So um, I did two shows before that show and uh, I did those on my own. I was able to get it come in really lean and, and do well on those shows for, for what I was, for what I would, for what I had put in. I know my first show I didn't place or anything, but I did pretty well for somebody who just winged it. Anyways, I'm just going to weigh myself here really quick. So we're two of three and a half. So um, I've actually started taking some some of that the diuretics I showed in my last video, and um, uh, I started cutting some water down. Um, I'm doing that photo shoot this week, early this week. So um, I want to do a bit of a, uh, a trial run as far as leaning out for that, and then I'll. Um, I'll start filling out middle of this week with some carbs. And hopefully we don't spill over for the show next weekend. But I don't. I think. Um, I think I know what I'm doing now. I think it'll be okay. Anyways, um, we'll just take our measurement here. I think last week it was five, four and a half. So I want to see. I basically like. I'd be happy to see all four and a half. So four, four would be really nice. But we'll see what we got. Four and a half. Just over four. Four and a half, so we're under that five millimeter mark here. But um not quite a four. I'm trying to actually show you guys what I'm looking at when I look at this thing. I can't see what you're seeing, but let's see. Oh yeah, very exciting. There you go, there's that four mil. So I'm not making it up. I'm not one of those guys who like says I have 24 inch arm, but you've never seen the tape measure actually going around my arm. And for the record, I have 17 and a half inch arms. Anyways, so we're seven weeks, uh, seven weeks of prep now. We've got one week left. Um, pretty happy with my progress. This is probably the leanest I've ever been. And I think with um, mani manipulating the water and the diuretics this week, the natural diuretics, the dandelion, um, I'll come in leaner than I've ever been. So um, I'm excited to get on stage. Um, I'll be a couple pounds heavier than I was back in November, but basically bringing the exact same size. Um, I think I weighed in at like 197 the morning of the show last at the last show, and um, I'll probably be under 200 for the show. So if I'm 203 now, I'll probably drop another couple pounds of water. You think uh, a liter of water weighs 2.2 pounds? So if I cut out a liter of water, which I probably will, that'll dry me out and it'll get me under 200 pounds. So. Yeah, we got six days. Um, as far as my peak week, what I'm going to be doing, um, I did a really heavy refeed on Friday. That's kind of my tradition. I went out and I had a burger and fries, chased it with a, um, a brownie and ice cream, and then we went and saw that new Mad Max movie, which was freaking weird as heck, but kind of cool. And I had some peanut M&Ms and some Coke. So that was, that was a pretty heavy refeed. Uh, I always kind of do that. It, it really, it's like a punch in the face. 
a week out from the show and it, it always kind of makes me panic and freak out and then it drives me into the week with some intensity and um yeah so this week i'll be um i'll be eating really clean lots of cod lots of tilapia and rice and um what's his problem and um I'll, uh, I'll I'll bump up the carbs a bit, say on um, on Wednesday and Thursday, and then I'll uh, I'll keep the water pretty high. What's Kitty doing? Why is he meowing at the door? Yeah, maybe he needs to go. He doesn't like his litter box. He uses he uses his litter box, but um, he likes he likes to go all natural outside, which is nice. Anyways, um, yeah, that's kind of my week. It's um, it's gonna be fun. I uh, I told my wife the other day. She asked me what I'm doing, and I say I'm going out, and I just do errands, and I go to Home Depot, and I go to I go to Walmart, and I buy dumb things, and I, I just try to fill my time, so I'm not sitting around uh, staring in the cupboards trying not to eat the food. So this week, it's uh, the project is to deplete down and. Um, get that waste measurement down, keep the food out of the system, and uh, eat very minimally. And if everything comes together, we'll have a nice tight waist, we'll bring a dry look. And uh, yeah, I really hope to do well. I think I can do some damage. Um, I was watching a video that Antoine Valiant put up the other yesterday and I really liked his quote. He said, um, that trophy's mine and if you want it, you're gonna have to take it from me, so. That, uh, that first place trophy is mine. I'm going for it. I want to take it. If you want it, you're going to have to take it from me. So peace out, guys. Uh, have a great week. Um, I'm going to vlog this week and hopefully next weekend backstage and keep you guys really updated on the show and keep you guys in, in the know. So should be good. I um, hope to share the experience with you guys. I appreciate you guys watching and following. And um, <laughs> I just want to leave you guys with a uh, positive message. I was just reading through the, uh, the verses of the day for the week. I'm going to give you guys a classic, and it's uh, John 3.16. Um, for God so loved the world that he sent his only son whoever, to die for whoever, so that whoever believes in him would have eternal life and should not perish. And uh, that's the truth. That's what I believe. And um, remember that. Uh, Jesus loves you, man. Anyways, God bless. Have a great week.